Hi everyone, welcome to part six. This is uh, the one with the archways. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. <laughs> This is where Legolas and Gimli do most of their fighting with the Orokai Scouts. In terms of geography, we are just above the stone stairway completed in the last video. We can see the structure, as well as some helpful close-up shots of the colours they used on the ruins. We can try and emulate those later down the line. Aragorn runs towards Boromir and through these large stone ruins which are in the background at the top of the screen here. So there are a few pieces to this section I need to make. These same ruins were used in The Hobbit. They're from the Fellowship of the Ring from the Weathertop or Aemon Sul set, where the Ring Wraiths attack Aragorn and the Hobbits. I tracked down some images from some of my books and found these, which will be incredibly useful as we try and understand this structure more. So I will start the way I always do, looking very closely at the pieces and starting to understand the structure, how it's made up and what's the overall size of the structure as well before I start doing some rough line work over the photos to really get this information into my brain for when I start to model it. I always tend to oversimplify things in my mind. I looked at this as just a ruined archway, but the structure is far more than that, of course. There are a total of three archways underneath the walls, all different heights and sizes, and it's also curved, so there are a few things to keep in mind as I go through this. This model went well, there was a bit of back and forth trying to capture the presence and structure with the limited reference I could find, but in the end as I persevered it began to take shape. It's only a basic shape at this point before we go and detail it in ZBrush. I started detailing each part with the construction lines first taking care to place them as close as possible to the photos I had. I 
Of course, I can't find an image of every angle of the piece, but you take what you can see, and then that dictates the parts that you can't. Getting as much as we can from the 3D model, we still have painting and weathering to do once printed and cured, but getting the best finish possible now will give us a far stronger result to work on. I really had to guess my way through these two ruins. I made the basic shapes and I'll be adding a lot of nature and weathering, as well as using the Dremel to create the finish I'm looking for. And here's the structure printed off. And here's the basic assembly of the structure. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and the process of taking some images and reference, studying them and creating something faithful to the original. I'm really pleased with it, and next week I'll be making the giant head in the forest, as well as a brief look at how I'm going to create the trees for the board as well, though that will be a video of its own. So thanks for joining me for this one. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. And also please share this with anyone in any groups who may be interested in what I'm creating. Cheers.